All right, I'm going to show you how to find the utility maximizing bundle of two goods um, using a little bit of calculus for economics. So to start out, we've got John. And John has two goods. We got good X, which is beer. And that's $4 per unit. And then we've got hamburgers. And that's good Y, which is $5 per unit. We've also got John's income which is equal to $120 for his utility equation. Utility of X and Y combination is equal to 3XY squared. The budget line is equal to, and I'm going to leave it in this form, I equals price of X times X plus price of Y times Y. Let's plug in our information to this. First of all, 120 equals 4X plus 5Y. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the point where our budget line touches the farthest possible indifference curve out because this way is more utility as you go farther out from the center of the graph. So the first thing you do is you define this point. The slope of this line is price of X over price of Y and the slope of this line is marginal utility of X over marginal utility of Y. So we know that when two lines are tangent to each other that their slopes are equal. That's the big thing here. So we need to find the point at which marginal utility of X over marginal utility of Y, or be it the slope of the indifference curve, equals price of X divided by price of y, or the slope of the budget line. So this is actually pretty easy. You just need to find this and this, which we are going to do. So we've got marginal utility of x, which equals the derivative of this function, u, with respect to x, which equals 1 times 3 is 3, x goes away, y squared. Okay, and then the marginal utility of y, I'm going to do an orange, marginal utility of y equals the derivative of the utility function divided by the derivative, or divided, or with respect to y is what that means, with respect to y, equals... 6xy, and you, you take 1 away. So if we combine these two, we get 3y squared over 6xy, and then we simplify this down. That cancels with that. That turns into a 1. That turns into a 2. It's 3 times 2 is 6. All right, and then let's rewrite this simplified. We got y divided by 2x. All right, so that's the left side of our equality function here. So if we take that and copy it down here, and we say that that's equal to 
price of x four dollars divided by price of y five dollars then we cross multiply those and say that 5y equals 8x rearrange that so y equals 5, 8 fifths x all right so all of that is just to find a value for y that has variables that has only x variables so we can now plug this back into this equation more specifically here and then solve for x so let's do that so rewrite that equation i equals price of x times x plus price of y times y and we know income is 120 we know the price of x is four dollars per unit we don't know how many units that's what we're figuring out plus the price of y is five dollars and now instead of having a y variable we plug this in for that so we get eight fifths x now we can just solve for x and at this point it's just algebra so 120 equals 4x plus 8x 120 equals 12x divide by 12 on both sides and you get x is equal to 10 all right now we're just going to plug this in for x and solve for y in that same equation. So we're going to join those two into, and let's just go ahead and drop in our numbers. 120 equals price of x is 4 times, we now have a value for x, which is 10, plus price of y is 5 times why? Now let's solve and see how many hamburgers or units of good Y is going to maximize our utility. So 120 equals 40 plus 5Y. You take away 40 from both sides and you get 80 equals 5Y. Divide both sides by 5 to isolate Y. And you get that 16 equals y. So utility is maximized when John buys 10 beers and 16 hamburgers. All right, now if you want to find the utility value for those, see exactly how much utility John can possibly get, you go back to your utility function, utility of x, y. x and y is 3x, y squared. Remember that was given. So we'll just plug in some numbers. Utility of 10 and 16 equals 3 times... 10 for x, 16 for y squared, which equals 7,680 utility units, which are arbitrary, but allows for comparison.